It's a fantasy that many of us have. We find a painting or maybe an antique chair in the basement, and then we find out it's worth big money. That dream fuels the popular PBS show Antiques Roadshow. Paula Tutman found that show rolling through Rochester today with plenty of people lining up to see if maybe they're holding on to a treasure or just trash. So the big question here is whether or not it's a family heirloom or whether or not it is so valuable you can send all of your kids to college, pay the tuition at Duke University. But take a look at this one. Here's an interesting example. An Edison phonograph. They tell me it's original. I wonder what that's worth. Clear the basement and the attic. Today they came by the bus loads. You all can go on now. Thank Just go you. right on through the arch and take the line on the left. As many as 4,000 ticket holders who won a free ticket lottery to audition their family heirlooms for the very popular Antiques Roadshow. James Moody. And he signed that when he played at the Detroit Jazz Festival. They loved heavy stuff and unusual stuff. This uh, Civil War sword's worth 250 the Spanish American 100. To see appraisers, to find out if their household booty fetches a bounty. Uh, uh, same factory as Hummel, uh, decorative value, maybe $25. And everybody's stuff has a story. I got it at a, a little antique store in uh, Homer, Louisiana. I had about six of them, and they're lovely glasses. But what did you get them for? $10 a piece. She said she cleaned out an old slave plantation house in Claiborne Parish, Louisiana. And um, she said she found all this. She didn't know what it was. I knew what it was. And so she had them out, and she said, well, I got more of these in the back. They came in this. I said, oh, let me have the boxes. Andy Warhol tomato soup can bag that was given out at the Boston Museum of Art. So I did have it appraised today, and he appraised it at $2,000. Nancy Bemko is the executive producer of the show. What's so great about this show, and you can see we've got people here in line who are just, these are hungry people who are waiting for they're, they've got dreams, they've got fantasies. They think what they have here in line is worth a fortune. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not. Um. <laughs> and has already seen things, wonderful things. I just saw a Rolex watch get appraised. It needed some repair. And he appraised that. It was a package that had all the original paperwork. He appraised that for $28,000. The three episodes being taped on the campus of Meadowbrook Hall on the historic Dodge grounds promises to see lots of star items as this area is rich with history. I'm hoping we see something that helps us tell the story of the founding of the, why do, you know, here we are in Motor City. How did it get to be Motor City? And you know what, at the end of the day, it's not just about how much this is worth or what the money is because everything has value when you absolutely love it and you find out more about it. Paula Tutman, Local 4. You will have to wait a little while, though, to see your friends and neighbors on the show. The three episodes taped today are set to air in January 2019.